Welcome to 147. We're just cruising. We're just cruising along at a very slow, <laughs> erratic pace with our studies with the Course in Miracles. But we are here with 147. Uh, I just want to commend myself for absolutely not having time to make this video right now, but I'm still making it anyways. So that to me shows a commitment and a willingness to keep on studying as a student of A Course in Miracles and giving it my best. As this week I review with you that my mind holds only what I think with God. I have seen otherwise this week. I've definitely been led by the ego thought system. It's just there. It's practiced. I'm aware of it though. So that to me is progress. So my mind holds only what I think with God. We're reviewing lesson 133 and 130, 133 and 134. Today we're thinking about I will not value what is valueless. I will not value what is valueless. And also let me perceive forgiveness as it is. So we definitely have a distorted view of what forgiveness means. And it's not the pardoning. It's not the, I graciously give you my pardon. Like it's not that at all. So let me perceive forgiveness as it is. And that will fall under the umbrella of my mind holds only what I think with God. I will not value what is valueless. So that's the review. That's what we're doing. And Jesus, I'll give it to you. For lesson 147, the review, Jesus said, remember, these lessons are leading you to peace. So keep on going with A Course in Miracles. Keep on going with your practice because they're leading you to peace. And when you get a more peaceful mind, you will be able to hear your guidance system better. Yes, you do have two different guidance systems you can tune into, the egos or the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a little, a lot of bit quieter than the egos, who's very loud and kind of rapid. And, and that's what it's for. If you're coming across a ledge, it's going to give you a jolt and saying, hey, don't walk off the cliff, dummy. Like, the ego is here for that very reason, to keep you alive, to keep you safe in the moment. But the ego's guidance system is not very good for future planning. That's why when you're in your ego mind and you're thinking about the future, you're, you're ang anxious, you have anxiety, you're panic. Like, let the ego do what it's good for, which is to keep your body alive, but it does not work good for future planning. Now, the... Holy Spirit is up higher. Your spiritual guidance has a greater vantage point. So it can see further than the ego. So that's what you want to listen to for your long-term guidance. And your spiritual guidance becomes easier to hear the more peaceful mind that you have. Spirit has a higher viewpoint. It has gentle nudging. So feel the guidance from above. Feel the guidance that comes from love. So it is definitely fun to start to notice the difference in our guidance systems. And right away, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling balled up, when you're thinking about the future, you have to say, okay, I'm thinking about this from the egoic mind who can't see very far in the future, who really doesn't have the best advice and guidance for me. So you have to really quiet down and get into that peace and think only thoughts with God and kind of just sort of settle into that trust and faith that you will be guided. And, you know, you do get the gentle nudgings to do this or go there, or settle down and, you know, let it come in. See if you can start to hear a little bit more than the ego, my dear. So on that note, my ego really does want to get me to work. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this thing off all day. Uh, you know, you try to do something new and then I don't know. I just might want to put on a t-shirt. Yeah. 
pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 147 Insights. My mind holds only what I think with God, and I will not value what is valueless. Let me perceive forgiveness as it is. Only the mind of God is real. Only eternal love is real. Thoughts of separation come from the mistaken mind, the split mind. All the thoughts that come from the split off ego mind are not real. The thoughts that come from this mind are valueless. Jesus is teaching us not to value what is valueless because it will not bring us happiness. It will only bring us pain and sorrow, sickness and death in the end. Forgiveness is letting go of these thoughts of being separate from the mind of God. Forgiveness is letting go of belief in bodies, of time and space, of differences and uniqueness. Today, again, I will practice opening to the truth. I will practice forgiveness. I will practice letting go of illusions. I will practice letting go of the valueless. I will practice opening to the truth that my mind holds only what I think with God. This daily practice is my journey home. There is no journey that has any value but this. I need not wander in the wilderness any longer. This practice is my highest priority. This practice brings me what I really want, God's peace, joy, and eternal happiness. As I am willing to see the false ideas for what they are, I will not value the valueless. I will open to the mind of God, my source. I will return to what is true and eternal. I will realize that my mind holds only what I think with God. What is in the mind of God is real and nothing else is real. This process of letting go of false ideas is what the Course calls forgiveness. Through forgiveness, we let go of what is not real. Holding on to what is not real is the barrier that hides the mind of God, what we all really are one with. Since my mind holds only what I think with God and God is timeless, then all thoughts that I hold about the past cannot be thoughts I share with God. They must therefore not be real thoughts and are therefore valueless. The ego loves to give great attention to the past. Major efforts are invested in archaeological study trying to establish where and when bodies and human forms started. One of the largest categories on the internet is genealogy, people trying to establish their identity by identifying the series of births of bodies from one generation to the next. And in everyday life, we evaluate everything in terms of what we have learned in the past. As we carry all this attention on the past with us, we are not able to see the present, clean and pure as it is. We overlay our past experiences and our beliefs about the past upon the present like a mask. We do not see the present. We see a mask of our own making and do not recognize that all its meaning is projected from our own mind. By valuing the valueless past. We cannot see God's gift of love in the present. As I learn to loosen my grip on the past, to give it less value, I am able to let it go. This is forgiveness. This opens the door for me to see the innocent holy self that is ever present now. It is timeless, not to be found in the future nor the past. Our one self is eternally here now. Holy Spirit, help me to forgive the past, to recognize its valuelessness and lay it down. Thus will I be able to recognize that my mind truly holds only what I think with God. 
pathwaysoflight.org. Okay, so that's two really good things for us to take with us on our day. Like the past is valueless. We hold on to it. We base everything upon it. We refer back to it. We hold those stories of grievances. And if we can see the valuelessness, lay it down, let it go, that will help us on our forgiveness journey 100%. And it's, it's, that's tricky to do because like, I mean, I was watching A Course in Miracles interview the other day with Carol Howe, a couple of them actually this week. And the first thing everybody goes to is tell us your story of how you came to A Course in Miracles. Like, I, I don't like interviews. I think I've expressed that before. And I think maybe part of it is because, yeah, it anchors you right back to the past. And isn't that kind of like a little bit of a contradiction of what we're going for here? <laughs> so stay in the present moment. Don't let yourself get taken into the future with the ego or the past in the ego. Stay right here, right now. Don't go to work, Sadie. Stay here. <laughs> Stay here forever, Sadie. <laughs> um, the other thing that I really, you know, do like is that, you know, as we stay in the present moment, that's our mind with the eternal now. That's what we share with God. So stick with it, you guys. You're doing amazing. My mind holds only what I think with God. I will not value what is valueless. The past is valueless. Let me perceive forgiveness as it is. Literally, forgiveness is just letting that false story go. Just like that. So good job. Keep going. Lesson 147.